Hi there. In the previous video, we covered off on the characteristic radiation peaks and how they relate to a specific target metal, remembering that the characteristic X radiation peaks will stay in the same location unless you change the target metal. Uh, and now, in this video, I'd like to look at the maximum frequency. So we're talking about this guy here, F max. Now, you need to remember that a, uh, a uh, maximum frequency X-ray maximum energy x-ray comes from the crossing of an electron across the electric field put between the cathode and the anode target and all of the kinetic energy of that electron stopping being slammed into a nucleus causing all of it to be transferred to an x-ray. Now the more kinetic energy it has that when it is stopped by a nucleus in the target metal the more energy it can then put into the x-ray and the way to get more energy into that electron is to increase the electric field strength. So what you're doing is you're increasing the voltage across the X-ray tube. So if you increase the voltage across the X-ray tube, but you keep the current, i.e. the amount of electrons per unit time flying across the tube the same, you're going to affect the graph. What you're going to do is cause there to be a new higher maximum frequency. So I'll do this one in a different color. What you're going to do is you're going to have to redraw the graph. Now the intensity will stay the same because you've got the same amount of um, electrons per unit time going across. But now the graph is going to have a new F max. And another key thing too, the characteristic peaks will stay in exactly the same location because we have not changed the target metal. It's very important to remember that. So key thing here is you want to speed up the electrons. You do so by applying a greater voltage across the X-ray tube. That's going to cause the electrons to accelerate faster, arrive at the target with more kinetic energy. Then, once stopped completely, uh, what you're going to get is, um, is a higher energy X-ray coming out. So what you do is you shift the whole graph to the right, but do not move the characteristic peaks because the target metal hasn't changed. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look at is intensity and how to change that.